in itself. Oh yeah. This a lot of stuff can happen, especially so like off the platforms. And for uh, Robin too! Mm -hmm. You trying to get sharked by Levin Nair? I'm not. Well, let's see if bars ain't. Let's get right into it. Yeah, game number one already just opening up with the Thunder. Thunder, a couple of quick little pokes, able to call out that jump as well. Bug is now going to be stuck at the ledge, but just using that jump to the ledge. That is the best option to get over Arcfire in time. Setting up a ledge trap of his own, backing away with the neutral aid. Just playing really non-committal, and Rhythm able to catch his jump. I'm very curious to see how Rhythm like, gets the zone started. With a premier zone breaker like Palutena, you have to stay very fluid in your projectile mm -hmm. pressure. And I think where Robin really gets to thrive is taking advantage of the projectiles just as a disjoint to continue your pressure, not necessarily to keep space. That jump in, that positional pressure, Buzz jumped in, dashed out, and then able to get that neutral layer off. And ooh, gonna be hitting that dash attack on Goblin Shield. But alas, she does not have the best at shield game. That being said, catching that mash out of disadvantage. No double jump off stage, stuck in that corner. That's what you were talking about. That's the volatility of Town and City. You do not want to be stuck there, and Buzz has been stuck there for so, so long. Let's see. Dispelled Levin in hand manages to break some of that pressure off for Rhythm. They get themselves out of the corner. Plenty of damage built up, too. This is in the death throes for Buzz as first stock goes down in favor of Rhythm. Yeah, getting in some of his full hops called out, finally dashing shield and getting that neutral in. Doesn't get the up air coverage, just guessing wrong on Goblin Street. Yo, and the Dispelled Book oh. actually saving Rhythm as well. Did it turn around Buzz? Yes. Because you, you turn it on depending on like the direction of like the attack you got hit from. So uh, hence why Buggies' multi-jab ended up going in the wrong direction. But getting that F-tilt off gets that explosive flame. That will not actually kill Goblin alive a little bit longer. And gets the job he done. He got got. <laughs> Buggering oh. Elrash happens to the best of us. He would have lived too. The more things change, too. the more things stay the same. Oh, and there's that falling up air you brought up earlier. It's an amazing string from Rhythm. Puts down early damage pretty quickly as well. Oh, and then just charging that up, baiting out that jump from Buzz so that he was able to connect the forward and, and missing his teleport back onto the stage. Rhythm has a 2-1 to stock lead. Neutral I feel like Buzz could have done a reverse neutral uh, You have to jump to the ground to be able to send them back towards the stage. Yo, the lone jab. Whiffing again in front of his shield, but just not anticipating all these rising aerials. With them jumping back down, dealing so much more damage consistently than Buzz. It looks like a matchup that Rhythm is very comfortable in, and I don't blame them for being so. Palutin is a very popular character, and definitely used to be one of those matchups where you had to know, like, the back of your hand. Oh, and tries to come back down with that Arc who does not actually get it. Right now, looking for a way to be able to land Buzz. Not able to get that down tilt. Robin just barely above it with the, with the back end. A little bit of her box shifting here. No, it was like micro in the box shifting. That was tiny. I mean, with that back air? Oh, yeah. Oh, and there it is. Sharked by the Nair. Ending out game one in favor of Rhythm. Pretty confidently, too. I just feel like between the two, Rhythm was getting out of the corner of A and then just dealing a whole lot more like consistent damage uh, between the two. Like coming back in with that Florida, getting that L Thunder. What was that U dodge? Did you see that? Bow. I don't actually know what this air dodge did for uh, bodies in this position because you see the elf under come out and then that's the that's the air dodge and then he just made his landing a lot more uh, easy to stuff out yeah I don't, maybe a missed input or just a poor decision in general yeah you have to like know like the distance between you and your opponent like what they can actually cover in that moment there's nothing robin can do to threaten that space at all that would you know demand the use of a preemptive air dodge like that. No, it's a character who's very vertically uh, challenged. I think it's a nice way to put Robin pressure. But laterally speaking, tons of tools for covering. Me too, Robin. Me too. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but I'm you glad you picked it. You, you pick it up when I'm putting down, kid. <laughs> Game two, they're going to be opting to go to Smashville. Love the stage a lot more. And now we're going to that comfort pick of the Gore which I just feel like is going to be a little bit more solid of a matchup. And then just also just like, hey, he's played this guy for so, so long. Gets that up air. Even the noodle hit just gets that side to be off as Rhythm falls back down. A couple neutral is so non-committal, baiting out that shield. Good ledge crack. Oh, oh my God. Rising dare. Pop him over the ledge. Get him out of here. A phenomenal start for Bars. If it, it spiked, it killed. If it didn't spike, it still <laughs> killed. That, that was hot. That was a very dangerous pool noodle. Lifeguard's got you on notice after that one. I think Bars is just looking so much more comfortable. You see how fast these buttons are coming out. See it where he's positioning to cover oh, space. Oh, yeah. Well, I put that Palutena difference. away. This guy is cooking. 
Yo, honestly, I think it was also the town pick that really did him in because Rhythm was able to cover all of that space so well. Here, a lot more congested. You have one platform and not a lot of space between the oh, base yeah. plot and that platform. Oh, and just get up attacking past that Ugg fight. Beautiful timing as well. Doesn't get that down tilt. Uh, Rhythm, once again, popping out another guy's in neutral, eating that hit. Double jumping back on, opting, opting to go back to the ledge. One Good non-committal play. And then we get that book. Swing that sword around. All right, book in hand. And immediately on the offensive. Oh, yeah. Not able to fall back down, just rolling away here. Dashing, poking, but down tilt, playing this as safe as he possibly can. And I love those shield crushing mix-ups. You talked about that item play in the beginning. Rhythm is definitely coming to play. And get him out of here. Oh, yeah. Setting up with Ugfire, and then just getting right into that one, but alas, a little bit too late on the F Smash. The final hit of the Ugfire connected, popped up uh, bugs, and finally, Rhythm gets that free stock off. Ooh, that was a really weird one. The book interrupted the last hit, but like, not fully. Yeah. I, if I Bars like, recognized that situation, he could have actually double edge danced again, I think. But I don't know how he got the last hit of it still. I would love to see like a replay on that situation. Um, but we'll right go now, Bugs. We still got some right to see. Oh, for sure. Trying to get that neutral off. Able to set up the uh, stage control here. But ends up jumping into the Nosferatu. All of a sudden, Rhythm has totally evened up this game. No double jump off stage. Meaning he has the time to set up with that arc fire again. It's so dangerous. Just utilizing all of your resources off stage as Roy, no less. Oh, but we think that dash grab, and all of a sudden that is going to be Bugs' opening. I'm surprised he went through that instead of like a back throw. Maybe he was just like scouting out like a bad disadvantage option. I feel like decision making wise, Rhythm is in the front running for this set. Because hit for hit, Rhythm is making every touch that gets counts. At least far more than Bars. Oh, yeah. Where Bars isn't making that bed of decisions in neutral, Rhythm's just really making a count with when he does get that hit. And Robin's a great character for that style of play. Mm -hmm. Dash and shielding, dash and shielding, just looking to get this next opening. And that's that down tilt on shield, baby. That is one of the safest moves in the game. You are not punishing that thing. Doesn't get the neutral B2 fleet, but because of how little end lag it has, we're just able to dash back and continue pressing buttons. Ooh. All right, book in hand. Book in hand, gonna be tossing it out there. Yep. And Good spacing, good positioning. Rhythm was going to cover every possible angle of upbeat. Bars answers in turn very quickly, though, and this is a very good position to be in. You don't have to worry about any extra damage. You have the stage positioning, although errant rolls like that are a great way to give up stage control that was otherwise yours. And look how you pay the price. You're at ledge, 46%. Rhythm. Vibe check, vibe check not succeeded. Oh! And the coverage on the air dodge. With that Arc Thunder, I have not seen that before. That was great. I've got your back. Wow. You want to know something, though, Dara? Bars did it to himself. He did it to himself, that yeah. That last stock, he did it to himself. That's the vibe check that which is like Robin at the ledge. You have to actually know exactly how to dissect that kind of interaction. You have to know how to Yo, do the, that scenario. The eye roll back and forth. My man had the whole roll to roll to roll. Watch this, watch this, watch this. All right, we one. roll one way. Bring it around town. Two. Let me get the other one. Nah, remix. Do it, baby. Let Rhythm know for certain, and we bring it back. He's got the half. Four. He got the three and a half before the fist bump. Let him know he is not a carnival enthusiast, but he's got to put respect on it. Yeah. Because that's a 2-0. Granted, I will say, this is hands down one of the coolest stocks I've actually ever seen. Yeah, no. One more time, baby. Just watch the pop-up, too. Into the, the furthest it hits, boop, boop. And, and, and just think about for like a second how good this scenario is to be in Azagora. Because this actually covers so many options. When you do actually end up like going through the down air, you have a couple of situations. One, the spikes it immediately kills. Two, it doesn't spike. You pop them up, you get that F smash kill. Three, you whiff it completely. You're still in an excellent position to be able to get your ledge trapping off. You can still get the rest of your hits in. You can still jab at the ledge. You can still do Roy things at the ledge. This is such a good place to be in. And Bugs killed it, dude. This was so sauce. Who's taking that? I'm not. Yeah, no. There Nobody's like, taking that. There's like a million ways for Rhythm to die there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But, uh, really good SDI from Bars from that situation as mm -hmm. well, because if he didn't pop up, he would have just flown right out. Yeah, the move has a lot of hit lag. Of course, he can SDI it at the end of the day. Um, I also just like want to take a quick little look at, again, the 
stock off stage. Yeah, no, I'm trying to see that ending because the fact that bars rolled one way, rolled the other, gave so much space to Robin, who otherwise has Yo. honestly awful ground movement. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, just going to be getting that F smash off. That was excellent. Because the thing the that Barry was, like, thunder. most afraid of, like, at this position, like, what he was really worried about was just, like, okay, you're going to jump forward at me. You know, I don't want to get hit more further off stage. I'm just going to air dodge you just in case you press, like, an L thunder or something. And then just ends up falling into this, which is ridiculous coverage, especially if you consider the fact that Robin is still in a position to come back Oh, yeah, she's coming in hot up. trying to go in with Nair at that point. Oh, yeah. She still has a double jump. She still has buttons. She still has all of this potential coverage available to her. And look uh, at the damage. Even if the hit didn't kill, it would have put Bars in an awful situation. And then you would absolutely have to just recover from a predictable point. Not a whole lot else that you can do. Hence, justifying all those head rolls. Yeah, no. Uh, hey, listen. Rhythm earned those head rolls. Actually got checked. Yeah. So uh, Rhythm played solid. Rhythm just like knew his confirms. He knew exactly what he was looking for um, and was able to take it with a 2-0. Very impressive. I'm hoping to see more of it. Robin, again, yep. one of those unconventional characters who you got to really go out of your way to...